Greetings, this is Selim Tazel, and this is my uh, graduate homework number two for the JavaScript class. Uh, for this project, I decided to extend uh, the, the project that we had for Unit 3A, which was uh, when you click on a text, the words that you click on highlight. I decided that I wanted to build a speed reading uh, software uh, in one of my uh, web pages. Uh, and I'm going to just demonstrate. The interface looks very simple. Uh, you have a text box here where you're going to paste or enter your text to be read. And then uh, there are buttons here which processes the text, starts the reading, stops the reading. It reports the delay uh, between the words. And you can increase and decrease the speeds. It's best explained with an example. So I'm going to go to this website. Uh, of uh, uh, Wikipedia on Carl Frederick Gauss and I copy and paste the text here. Uh, the text has been copied from the particular web page or it could be from a PDF or Word document etc. I process the text and when I process the text the um, uh, new lines are uh, replaced with uh, break commands in uh, HTML so uh, you see the structure of the uh, essay has been preserved and initially the reading speed is uh, uh, 500 uh, milliseconds by default so I'm just gonna uh, bring it to that so you can see what the default looks like so we start reading and what happens is uh, every basically half second a new word is highlighted uh, with a yellow background and I decided to also increase the font size slightly just to make it a little bit uh, more uh, readable uh, and it goes like that uh, you could stop the reading any moment you want uh, let's actually increase the speed let's see if it is really high you can go as much as fi uh, 50 milliseconds that's really I think too high for pretty much everybody but it just goes uh, like that uh, you could decrease it. Uh, I believe my comfortable speed is probably around uh, 350 millisecond delay. And you can see that uh, it is scanning through each of the letters, uh, each of the words, and it is uh, highlighting them. And This way, you can practice uh, speed reading. This is something I, at college, needed desperately when I took history classes. I wish I had a way of uh, uh, being able to read fast and practice reading fast. So I'm going to actually copy a small piece of this text so that we don't have all these. Uh, so I'm going to process the text just to sort of demonstrate to you Again, one, one more time. So you can see, based on the speed that you decide how the text is being highlighted uh, with the particular delay. So uh, this is uh, a lot like the code that uh, we have developed in class, except it has some uh, timers uh, that I had to research how to do them. But I'm going to quickly show you the HTML page first. In the HTML page here, you can see that there are uh, several buttons. Each of the buttons on their click, they uh, activate a particular function, process text, start reading, stop reading. And then the remaining buttons here can increase and decrease the speeds. They are again on click activating certain functions. Um, so I'm going to quickly go through this, uh, the code in the JavaScript uh, file. Uh, here the default is set to 500 milliseconds and uh, what we do is we have uh, buttons that increase and decrease the reading speed and here they uh, increment or decrement the delay parameter uh, as those are done. There's a stop reading button uh, that uh, activates the stop reading function. Uh, and all it does is it sets a boolean variable stop pressed to be true. 
the important, uh, really important function here is the process text function. And what it does is it, first of all, makes sure that the line breaks are respected. Uh, in the initial implementation of this code, I forgot to uh, acknowledge uh, line breaks, uh, but now I'm replacing them with, uh, with a break, uh, break tag in HTML. And then uh, what we do is once the input text has been acquired, we split this uh, by uh, white space and put it into a word array. And then uh, we go through the word array and splice the array to get rid of any empty cells that are created due to extra white spaces. And then we quite similar to the exercise we did uh, in unit 3a we add the span uh, tag and uh, we give them all kinds of attributes uh, such as class uh, name uh, and ID etc and uh, then we append it to the uh, text div as a child uh, very very similar to what we have done in class and then uh, we start reading, and this is the part where the I had to do some research to figure out how do you get a timer to call on a particular function repeatedly with a certain delay. Uh, so what this does is it uh, basically uh, calls a function called read next word uh, every so many milliseconds determined by the delay. And the read next word function is a simple function. It first of all uh, checks uh, the index that you're at and it unhighlights the previously read word. That's quite important to do. And then uh, it makes sure that the stop button has not been pressed. Uh, so as you're progressing, it basically highlights your current word. And if you reach the end of your text, the uh, the the interval is cleared, meaning the timer is uh, uh, taken out. And the highlight functions uh, and unhighlight functions basically uh, change the background color to yellow and the font size to 17 pixels from a white background and 16 pixel values. So this was quite fun to implement, uh, and it is something actually quite useful. I'm still a very slow reader, and I believe uh, with the help of this class, I'm going to be able to now uh, use my software to uh, be able to do uh, reading practice. <coughs> oh, please forgive my dog. Uh, I'm sorry for the interruption. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. All the best.